Whether in field service or a private garage, stripping shielded multi-conductor cable requires using the proper tools. For this project, we'll be using three types of tools that we use in our production facilities. A cable cutter, a ring slit tool, and a compact wire stripper. The first step is to measure the cable to the correct length based on the job. Make sure to add at least an extra inch. With our measurement checked, we'll use the cable cutters to cleanly slice through the cable in one clean motion. Our high leverage cable cutter is built to eliminate damage to the conductor and can handle up to 4 aught cable. With the cable cut, we'll need to remove the outer jacket to expose the internal conductors. Using the ring slit tool, adjust the blade depth to match the insulation thickness. Place the tool over the cable and work it in one direction multiple times. With the insulation cut, turn the blade using the lever and work towards the end of the cable. This makes the insulation easier to remove. The ring slit tool is built for reliability and repeatability. It cuts through insulation up to 1 8 inch thick and carries a spare blade in the base of the tool. Next, we'll carefully remove the foil shield. With the internal conductors exposed, it's time to remove their insulation. After determining the correct amount of insulation to strip, we'll use the compact wire stripper to cut into the insulation. Now, we'll pull the tool away from the wire to remove the cut piece, and we just need to repeat the process on the remaining wires. Our compact wire stripper is built for longevity. This tool offers multiple cut nests to handle a wide range of wire sizes. It also has a tapered plier nose that can be used to grip, twist, bend, or pull. Lastly, this tool offers a sharp cutting blade ideal for cutting solid and stranded wires as large as 10 gauge. With the proper tools, you can safely cut and strip the shielded multiconductor while eliminating the risk of damage to the internal conductors. You'll find the shielded multiconductor cable and the tools you've seen here at pacergroup.net.